After months of development, I present this Blue. orange brick. Huh? Oh, uh, sorry. I present the joystick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Much better. So, to understand how this works, we should look at a real joystick mechanism first. This joystick outputs to two potentiometers. As we move it left and right, you can see that only one of these is moving. And as we go up and down, the other one is moving. When we move the joystick in circles, they are both constantly moving. Looking closer, when we move it up and down, it moves the axle going straight into the potentiometer. However, when we go left and right, it pushes on the two brass guides, which then rotates the other potentiometer. Here is the same mechanism made in LEGO. You can see how one output is controlled by the guides, and the other is connected through the axle. The axle allows it to pivot one way, and the gray piece in the middle allows it to pivot in the other direction, which is picked up by the guides. Once again, when we move the joystick one way, it pushes the guides and rotates a tooth to move a clutch. When we rotate it the other way, it slides along the guides and turns the assembly in the other output, which switches the other clutch. A major difference of this one is that only one direction can be outputted at once and is not an XY coordinate like a controller joystick. So this joystick will only ever be outputting up, down, left, or right. Looking at the top, we can add some bricks to guide the shaft. This will allow only one input to be on at a time, and none will be on when it isn't fully pushed in a direction. Okay, now let's add some power. Fun fact, the EV3 just turned 10 years old. When we move the stick up, an output rotates in a direction, and when we move it down, the same output rotates but in the other direction. The same thing goes for the left and the right, but with the other output. When it is in the middle, both outputs are stationary. Now, you may be thinking, wouldn't it be better for the computer if each direction had its own output? Well, you would be correct. However, something very important must happen before it gets to the computer, which is logic and timing and two bidirectional outputs are better suited for the next step. Expanding on this, to make sure the computer only sees one input each cycle, it must be read and then sustained for the rest of that cycle. Also, in the game of Snake, you are not able to turn 180 degrees from where you are already going. So, that must be prevented before the computer receives any inputs. One last thing. If no inputs are done on the joystick, then something still has to be outputted on the computer. So whatever was last held should continue going. All this will be explored in the next video. And with that, I would like to once again thank Dennis, currently my only Patreon. So far he has raised $25 for the computer. Start supporting today for as little as a dollar a month, or chip in more for some awesome benefits including bonus content. Thank you for watching, and remember that of the 8 billion people in this world, only 52 of them are not losers. Oh, good heavens. Well, gosh darn it. Oh, schmiggity boof. Well, I tell you, ah, oh, Lord. Oh, good. Ah, oh, shite.